Hey, welcome to a special edition, Plan With Me, by Erica D. Um, because of my job, I'm a public school music teacher, and I'm also a mom. Um, I don't always have a lot of time to commit to decorating my planner during the school year, although I do love to decorate, and so my solution has been pre-decorating. I usually pre-decorate nine weeks at a time. This time I'm only doing about four or five weeks at a time. Um, and then as the week arises, I can do the important event and task planning um, that comes each week. And it's a process that's worked great for me in the past, so I'm going to continue it now. So here is my pre-decorating video. So the first week I'm going to pre-decorate for is January 13th through the 19th. And as you can see, my planner has these royal blue discs, which I absolutely love, but I had not thought through the fact that every page or a spread I would decorate would have to match them. So that's what I'm working with here is matching the blue discs. So for this week, I found this kind of a, a I don't know, like a, a light blue, not light blue, a dusty blue sticker and uh, the glitter stickers that kind of match it. And then this washi, which is giving me a big fat headache. This washi does not want to pull off. It keeps tearing. Um, but I like this blue because it's not a warm blue. It's kind of a cool blue and it is January. We're not supposed to get any snow anytime soon, but it is still cool. So I like this blue. So even though there are flowers and leaves on it, um, it's kind of got a cool feeling to it. I traditionally like to put a color splash of washi at the bottom of my pages. So that is what I'm working on right now. And I just tear my washi normally with this little silhouette tool, but you can use a credit card. Um, and then it went over the holes for the disc a little bit. So I'm just going to cut those out. That's not a big deal. Very easy to do. But I just like that splash of color at the bottom. Um, this is the sticker that inspired this. I'm going to put it at the top and cover that month because I don't really need that. And then I'm noticing all the other stickers that I could use in both of these sticker books. Um, I also like to emphasize the verticalness of planners. I also like to pay attention to what I call the working portion of the planner, which is what I'm doing now. I'm putting a little more washi along the working portion. I decided that was too thick in the three millimeters. Um, I guess it's millimeters. Um, anyway, so I decided it was too thick. It was going to take up too much planning space. So I just sliced it in half and put half at the top and half at the bottom. And this is what I call the working portion of the planner because it, it's literally where you're working. It's where you're putting your events and your tasks and your to-do lists and everything. So it just makes me feel more comfortable to kind of put those. I thought about putting a weekend border at the top instead of the washi, but it was too wide. I think it's made for the big planner, and mine's a classic, so I just went with this. Um, I have this um, solid navy washi that I could use too. It's almost black, but it's, it's nice. I might use it for the vertical lines. I do like to emphasize the fact that it's a vertical planner, and so Sometimes I will put washi on every single vertical line. Sometimes I'll only put it on the outside too. So a lot of times I put it on the outside too and the weekend. My biggest pet peeve about this planner that I have for 2020 is these black horizontal lines. They're just so bold and they just, I don't know, I just feel they're very choppy and chop the page into thirds that I don't want it chopped into. So I am going to wipe those out a lot of times. It shows up very bright and bold here um, on camera. You can see it in real life, but it's not quite as distracting as it is on camera. So I do wipe that out quite a bit. Just because, like I said, it's it's distracting to me to have those bold lines dividing it. I'll then just slice a post-it and write the paper glitter stickers on here so that when it is time to actually plan, I can grab that. I'm now moving on to the week of January 20th, which happens to be my husband's birthday week. 
So I will not only use the royal blue that goes with the discs, but I'm also going to insert purple because my husband's two favorite colors are So again, I have to work with these royal blue discs and um, I have this washi with blue and purple elephants on it. So I'm gonna use that at the bottom of the page for my splash of color. It's just kind of lucky that it turns out that it has my husband's two favorite colors in it. On screen, I guess it looks kind of a lot of purple, but it's really mostly blue with a little bit of purple. I also have these two glitter washies that I'm going to use as well. Um, I'm slicing this washi into narrow strips. All I do to do this, <laughs> excuse my phone dinging, is um, take a clear ruler where I can see through it. It's got lines on it so I can keep it straight and then use my X-Acto knife. Um, and you have to push kind of hard, not necessarily on the X-Acto knife, but on the ruler to keep it from slipping. Um, but I do this a lot. It, I, you know, I buy these wide washies and sometimes I really want it to be a narrow washi and so I can just make it into a narrow washi. So like I said, sometimes I like to emphasize every single vertical line and that's what I'm choosing to do this week. So I'm going down each and every day, just putting a vertical line with this blue washi. Um, and then I realized that it just looks too crisscrossy with the black horizontal lines. So on this side, I'm whiting it out. Don't worry, I will go back and white it out on the other side too, so they match, because that would look kind of ridiculous. Um, I like to make the weekend look a little different than the rest of the week, so I'm using purple washi to emphasize the vertical lines on this side. And I'm not sure why, but I just decided not to go between Saturday and Sunday. Now, remember I said I was going to go back and white out over the vert, um, horizontal lines on the other side. So I'm just briefly pulling the washi up, whiting those lines out, and then putting my washi back down. Nice and easy, not a big deal. So now I've emphasized the verticalness of the vertical planner, gotten rid of the horizontalness. Uh, I am pre-decorating, but sometimes when I pre-decorate, I like to go ahead and put down a sticker or two. I'm looking through here to see if I want to do that or not. Um, and instead, I just decide I think I'm just going to go ahead and write down the name of the sticker book, which is Color Story. And when it's time to plan for this week, I can go ahead and choose. So let's move on to the week of January 27th through February 2nd. Again, working with these blue discs that I do both love and hate. And I wanted to use the colors in this student book. You can see there's navy in there and there's also pink and turquoise. There are flowers, which I can't, the colors are perfect, but I can't bring myself to use them in January and February. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I like the colors in that, hey, it's winter sticker or whatever that says. Um, so I'm going to pull my washi colors from that. So I'm going to start with this really bold glitter fuchsia pink color, which normally I wouldn't put with royal blue, but it works in this sticker, so I'm doing it. Hey there, winter, that's what it says. I want to put that on, but I also need some washi to emphasize the working portion of my spread of my planner. So I'm going to go ahead and slice some washi into narrow strips. I'm going a little wider than I went last week. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like going wider. Sometimes you just need things to look a little different. And I'm about to put it on the other side. Oh no, I decide not to before that. Put this on the top. I don't put it on the other side because that sticker is just going to be my washi for the working portion on this side but it doesn't quite reach. So I'm gonna take a little of this chunk I chopped off the other side. I try to tear it, it doesn't work, but I can slice it and I just use that right there. And I love how that turned out. I could do another thick strip at the top, but I've got this little thin strip left. I'm gonna use it. I don't mind that it doesn't really match at the top. It doesn't bother me. Again, it was this student book and these flowers that inspired the color, but these stickers work too. And there's even this kind of um, diagonal lined washi that I could use. I may end up using that later. For now I am going to stick with this um, 
what do you call that? Not really, I guess it's teal, not turquoise, but teal washi for my vertical strips that I like to put in. On this one, I'm only going to mark the edges of the planner and the weekend. So I'm only using three strips of the washi. That one kind of, I must not have pressed hard enough with my X-Acto knife because it tore when I tried to pull it up. But since I only need three, it worked out just fine. Not a big deal at all. These colors are a little bit garish, but they do work together because of that sticker. I won't use most of these stickers because they're very Christmassy, but some of them are wintry enough that I can pull them. And again, I might use these flowers. So I'm just marking that it's from the Green Student Book, put my post-it up there, and I'll... So now I'm ready to pre-decorate for the week of February 3rd through February 9th. Again, blue discs. I'm going to make it work. I won't go the whole year, but I'm going to go a while with it. This one, I found this scrapbook paper. I'm hoping we get some snow. We haven't had much snow yet. So I found this snowy scrapbook paper and I found washies that match it. Some regular washi, some of the scalloped washi from the Planner Society. And these are, they're cool colors. I don't know that I would necessarily call them winter, but cool-ish. So that washi's a little too wide to use at the bottom on its own. So I just slice a little bit of it off so that I can fill that bottom gap with it. Um, this purple, this lavender, matches that scrapbook paper perfectly. So I really like it for this page. Sorry, my voice is kind of getting weak. I've never really used scrapbook paper in my planner before, so I don't know how this is going to work. Um, but I, you got to try something new sometime, right? So I'll never know if I don't try. This time to mark my working portion of the planner, I'm only doing it at the top and I'm using this scallop washi to do it. Um, I just think it's bold enough that I don't need to do bot bottom and top. So I just do the top and it kind of looks like, I don't know, like a little curtain at the top, right? I'm having trouble slicing it. So that works for the top, for the working portion. And then for some vertical lines, I'm going to use this light green. It's already a really narrow washi, but I would like to slice it in half to make it even more narrow. I just don't like to take up very much planning space. I really want as much space as I can to write. Functionality always wins out over decorating for me, unless it's just a week where I don't have anything going on. So nice, narrow. I try to lift that scallop washi to stick this under it, but it's stuck way too well. So I'm just going to have to cut around the scallop and that's not a big deal can't even tell I did it. Again, these colors are not ones I would ever put together on my own, but they go together when you have that scrapbook paper in. And that's assuming I can figure out how to get the scrapbook paper in. Like I said, never done that before. So speaking of the scrapbook paper, I'm going to measure the boxes. Um, so they're one and a half by two and a half inches. And I just take my paper, first I slice a two and a half inch strip, and then I slice each of those into a one and a half inch strip. And they fit in the boxes, any box. Don't know which box I'm gonna do yet, but they fit. And look at that, turns out perfect. So I have all these boxes now, and I could put them anywhere I want in any of these boxes. Um, but I decide that because I'm pre-decorating, I'm not going to go and decide where they go yet because I don't know when I'll have plans. So I'm just going to clip them together. I have to go find a paper clip really quick. Give me just a second to do that. Find a paper clip, clip them together, and just clip them to the page. And so now when I come back, I can put those in any box I want to put them. And the last week I'm going to plan for and pre-decorate for in this session is February 10th through the 16th, which includes Valentine's Day. So I wanted to get some pink in with these blue discs. So I found this sticker with some pink confetti. I found some pink washi. I'm going to try to make them work. If you hear the garage door, my son just got home, so sorry about that. I'm right above the garage. I think the pink and navy is going to work really nicely together. So I take this navy washi for my color wash at the bottom of the page. 
It's a little bit boring since there's no texture to it, no pattern, but it, it does fit the color, so it works. Um, I love this scalloped washi from the Planner Society, and the pink is really lovely, so I'm going to use some of that to mark the working portion of the planner. You just have to cut it. You can't tear this stuff the way you can other washi. It's just a little too thick and a little too plasticky. <laughs> is plasticky a word? I don't know. but So you just have to use your X-Acto knife, and it's not a big deal. But some washi can be torn, some cannot. I think technically to be washy it has to be paper and has to be terrible, but that's okay. This is really old washy that seems to have faded, and so I have to pull a little bit to find a spot with the actual pink color. Um, but I find it, so I'm going to do what I normally do and slice it into some strips so I can mark the vertical sections of my planner again. I should have shut the door because I can now hear my children fighting in the next room. Sorry if you can hear that too. They're teenagers and that's what they do. <laughs> so I go the vertical line on the outside over here and then I will do the vertical lines to mark the weekend as well. And this is just a very barely pink, mostly white, barely pink washi. And so that is how I'm going to pull in Valentine's Day. I'll put this sticker down now just because I like it and then I can use any of these other stickers from this book later. I try to use some leftover scallop washi here to edge that sticker. I don't like how that turned out. I try to shorten it and spoiler, I'm still not going to like how it turns out. It was worth a try. You know when you have leftover scraps you try to use them but yeah I don't like it so I'm pulling it all up. Although I do have leftover scraps from this thin washi, so I can use that. Not that it needs a border, but I've got it. Why not? And so I can use any of those stickers when I come to actually work on this week. So I will slice up a little post-it, write the name of that book on, and stick it in there. And that, my friends, is what I do for pre-decorating. So now you will see all of these pages again when I do an actual plan with me for each of those weeks. Um, I hope I inspired you a little and gave you a few ideas on a different way to plan. Even if you don't pre-decorate, at least you have, you know, seen something different. So if you like what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like what you've seen, go ahead and subscribe. Um, thanks for watching and happy planning.